Hello there my fellow creators and gamers. This is the ASUS ZenBook Pro 16X. And not only did we do a stream with this one not too long ago, but I have been teasing this review for a while now. And initially I named this sleek looking fella one of the most promising notebooks in 2023 if you are within that wide group of users in the creative industry. Not only does the all metal laptop sport a pretty unique design for better typing ergonomics and improved cooling, but it's also one of the very few cleanly looking 16 inch notebooks that come with an RTX 4080. While last year's model topped out with an RTX 3060 and even ASUS's very own flagship creator model, the Studiobook Pro 16X we reviewed a while back as well, was only available with a 4070, the Zenbook could be the perfect companion for CGI artists, video editors, on-the-go colorists and everybody else who needs an insanely powerful GPU within a professional looking chassis. So let's see if this one can deliver even beyond its spec sheet and if Asus managed to put together the creator notebook to beat in 2023. Oh, and by the way, for gamers that want the ultimate sleeper, well, you might want to follow along as well. But let's start with that very spec sheet, since there's actually quite a lot to talk about. The RTX 4080 in the ZenBook can work with up to 140 watts, so it's not even severely power limited and keep up with proper gaming notebooks in our database. Alongside the beefy GPU, ASUS opted for the Intel i9-13905H, with some added engineering wizardry that moved the soldered RAM a lot closer to the brain of the ZenBook. And while you might be limited to only 32 gigs, the system memory runs at a pretty insane 7467 megahertz. To store all of your projects, you get a spacious 2TB SSD. And in the display department, we get the same 120Hz OLED that we have already seen in the before mentioned Studiobook, as well as the VivoBook Pro 16X. Chassis quality is simply amazing, even though there are a lot more additional moving parts because of the tilting keyboard mechanism. Everything feels extremely solid, and the ZenBook is a very gorgeous looking piece of tech with an overall look and feel that matches its premium price tag. There's a little bit of flex on the upper edge of the raised keyboard and the display hinges could be a bit stiffer especially if you use the included pen for some photoshop edits or the like. This puppy might be aimed at the lifestyle or creator crowd out there, but ASUS sneakily added in some tasteful RGB effects with this sort of underglow beneath the keyboard unit. And adding external drives will visually be confirmed with a pretty neat effect as well. It's a bit gimmicky, but hey you gotta have some fun every now and then and I think it looks totally awesome. In the I.O. department the ZenBook left us a little disappointed to be quite honest. Especially as a creator, you have to deal with lots of external drives and accessories. And while the 16 incher offers a full size SD card reader, transfer rates are barely average. And in addition you only get a single USB A 3.2 Gen 2, a pair of Thunderbolt 4s and HDMI 2.1. It's a usable layout, but an additional USB-A and a much faster card reader would have gone a long way to underline the attention to detail further we expected for a true creator-focused notebook. Wireless transfer rates are just about average, and along the same lines the 1080p Windows Hello enabled webcam presents itself usable without offering anything special to write home about. In the maintenance department we can keep it short as well. Since the RAM and Wi-Fi card are soldered, you are left with a single NVMe slot to upgrade your storage needs. A second one would have been very nice to see, especially considering the amount of data creators are working with today. But let's talk about things to like and there are a plenty in the input department. Starting with the keyboard, with a solid 1.7mm of travel, a pronounced pressure point and satisfying tactility, this one is a great option for both typists and gamers alike. The touchpad that very much like Apple's trackpads makes do without any moving parts feels simply great and might be one of the best options on a Windows notebook we have come across for quite a while. In addition to the usual input methods, the OLED is again a touch display and offers pen support for an active stylus. Unfortunately you cannot use the stylus on the trackpad, which was an option on the Studiobook and a pretty neat feature for editing images on the go. In addition, in typical ASUS fashion they also included their dial once more and as before it's a neat feature that is well implemented but for most of you using shortcuts for what this one can do might still be faster and much more convenient. As I mentioned earlier, the 120Hz 3.2K OLED is an old acquaintance by now, both in terms of its benefits as well as its drawbacks. Subjectively this is one of the best screens available for notebooks right now, at least in my opinion. 
Mini LED panels might be better across the board when it comes to raw specs, but nothing beats the natural contrast and color reproduction of a high quality OLED such as this one. So while around 350 nits might get you in trouble when working outdoors and of course PWM is still a thing with a frequency of 250Hz, almost 100% coverage for sRGB, DCI-P3 and even Adobe RGB makes the panel in the Zenbook well suited for all sorts of color critical video or photo editing shenanigans. Add in in-depth software support and additional pre-calibrated and very accurate color profiles and you are well equipped for your on-the-go editing experience. For your virtual entertainment endeavors, the panel might be missing G-Sync, but snappy response times and of course the amazing color and contrast rendition and awesome HDR experience will still give you a great time for games and movies. Alright folks, let's talk performance and let us see if the Zenbook has enough computing grunt under the hood to match its good looks and extensive list of features. In the CPU department, you get exactly what you would expect from the mainstream i9H silicon. Most notebooks with a similar chip are a bit faster, but the difference is marginal. AMD's HS chips are slightly behind in general and the HX CPUs are of course quite a bit ahead. System performance is very good as well, even though we must admit, we have been expecting a bit more considering the very potent core components. That said, our PCMOX scores are usually very close to each other and subjectively, the Sandbook is indeed an excellent system for a wide range of applications. Of course, I tried the 16 inch for our video production and while the setup can get cluttered pretty quickly with the limited I.O. selection, there's absolutely nothing to complain about regarding performance. Especially in Resolve 18, which is what we use for our videos, the difference between an RTX 4070 and the higher-end ADA card is considerable and well worth the additional investment in my opinion. Our 3D mark rating confirms this quite impressively and not only leaves all other notebooks with 4070s in the dust, but it even gets close to the lower wattage RTX 4090 in the RGM16 and can even score a lot better than the same chip in the MSI Stealth 17 Studio with its much lower wattage 4080. Render result and Blender are a lot closer to each other as are our Photoshop runs and the most benefits you will see in applications that can probably utilize the GPU. Before we continue with our regular content, here's a quick message from our sponsor. NVIDIA's Studio Program is here to help accelerate all of your content creation needs. With dedicated drivers being vigorously tested for compatibility and reliability in almost all applications being used in various fields throughout the professional industry. And of course, their powerful silicon for a healthy dose of GPU acceleration. The new mobile RTX 4000 cards come with exclusive hardware features that you will not find anywhere else on the market. And notebooks with Team Green's dedicated GPUs come in all shapes and sizes. Are you looking for something super portable to enter the world of content creation? Or maybe you're a student and need something affordable or something you can lug around campus without breaking a sweat. RTX 4050 or 4060 equipped notebooks can easily handle your first steps in photo editing or graphics design and can even get you started in CGI or video editing. With dedicated tensor cores for AI accelerated features in Adobe's Creative Suite for example or hardware encoders for your high-risk video footage, even the entry-level chips will give you a solid performance boost. Craving something faster? Well, with the efficiency gains in the latest GPU generation. You can even find 4070s in super sleek chassis for some pretty insane do-it-all performance machines. Or dial it up to 11 with even 4090s being fit into 14-inch notebooks. Or are you the on-the-go pro looking for the ultimate mobile workstation? Well, both the RTX 4080 and especially the 4090 will provide desktop level performance for almost anything you can think of, for filmmakers, video editors or CGI artists. If you want to learn more about NVIDIA Studio program and for a complete list of supported applications, please follow the links in the description below. And if you want to get shopping right away, our German retail partner Alternate got you covered. And you can find a list of available studio notebooks down there as well. And now let's get back to our review. In our 1080p gaming rating, we get almost the exact same picture, as we have already seen in our synthetic tests, making the Zenbook a well-rounded notebook suitable for fun gaming sessions alongside its more work-focused nature. Even some of the most demanding games run without a problem and mostly even in the display's native resolution. 
For most modern games, you can even take full advantage of things like ray tracing or even path tracing when keeping DLSS and frame generation in mind. So what about fan noise? Well, considering you will most likely use this one for work, you might be a bit more considerate with how much you want to stress your coworkers with your notebook. Thankfully, the ZenBook is very well tuned. Not only does it take quite a while for the fans to really ramp up, but the different performance modes are well adjusted to give you full control. We took some noise samples for you, so you can get an idea yourself. As always, if you want to dive deeper into additional benchmark scores, read up on our detailed temperature and stress test results, or simply want to check out our measured dB numbers and compare the ZenBook to the available competition, please check out our written review on the website. We have a lot more data about this one than I could possibly put in one of our videos. You can find the link in the description below. Away from the wall, the ZenBook delivers above average results for this class of devices. About 8 hours in our standard test is pretty alright, considering the performance ASUS put in this puppy. But it's of course nowhere near what you would get from Apple's latest iterations of high-end performance notebooks. Alright folks, it's time to wrap it up for today. Once more, the ZenBook isn't perfect. With limited maintenance options, only average I.O. and a high price tag, there are compromises to be made. But if you are looking for a sleek and subtle but insanely powerful notebook that is a full-fledged workstation and high-end game on the road and a powerful desktop replacement at home, delivers in terms of entertainment with an amazing screen, great speakers and decent battery life for that Netflix marathon after work and comes with excellent build quality that somewhat matches its price tag, well, your options within this class are very limited. Most competing notebooks top out with RTX 4070s, and 4090 options are not only a lot more expensive, but usually come with a more, well, gamery styling that might put off some of you entirely. But please folks, let me know what you think about this one. Sound off in the comments below. That shall be it from my end today. Please leave your like and sub on your way out, and maybe check out some of our recent videos if you cannot get enough about tech and laptops. Thanks a ton for watching, my name is Alex, you have been fantastic and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.